high-tech gadgets and equipments are common in Indian homes, offices and industries today. But how many of them are really made here? Are there any indigenous pioneering world-class laboratories in the same league as IBM Labs, Bell Labs, Xerox Park, etc. in India? Why not? When you compare the global population, India is almost one-fifth. And yet, how much do we really contribute to development of high-quality software or participate in open-source software movements like GNU, Linux, etc., which are transforming the world? Precious little. The word invention is reserved for earth-shaking solutions like Edison's light bulb, Shockley's transistor, and Town's laser. Most of these inventors insist that rather than genius, inventions are a result of a meticulous step-by-step -step process. Is it possible to implement this process and somehow create an environment where creativity, technology, and entrepreneurship can come together and trigger a sort of a chain reaction? giving birth to widespread wealth creation. If this process can result in inventions, then we can actually invent the inventors. And so with this core idea of the process of think simple, research, enable, evolve, Tree Labs was created. One persistent problem can be observed in virtually all of the technology applications that we see around us today. Energy used by various systems seems to be way too large as compared to the actual work they do. Take for example the water pump. For the work it does, its efficiency is a dismal 5%. For ceiling fans, even less, 1%. There are lots of other systems that show even less than this. There is no concept of regeneration of energy in systems like lifts, where the mass that is lifted up also comes down, so net energy consumed is quite large. Stories like this are very, very common. If one could look at the core technologies in any of these applications and reduce the inefficiency at each stage, what could be the result? Following the Tree Labs idea of process of invention, we looked at various technologies. LAMPO is just one of the extraordinary outcomes of this process. This discharge lamp technology developed at Tree Labs has been demonstrated to be already more than twice as efficient as white LEDs, which are considered as one of the most efficient sources of light available today. In the near future, with further research, it is projected to improve this by as much as 10 times. Similar results have been replicated in various technologies across the board. To give an idea of what the implications of this are, let us take a look at the invention tree of Tree Labs. If one takes any single area like power electronics, one can see that it covers about 40 to 50 core inventions. One of them is motors which is responsible for approximately 65% of the world's electricity consumption. Like all of the coal inventions, motors have about 15 to 20 application areas, traction being one of them. And these in turn have 10 to 15 product lines. So just one core invention affects up to 300 different product lines. And so the entire invention tree has the potential of perhaps affecting almost 3,75,000 product lines. And a combination of two or more such core inventions can perhaps affect even more areas not obvious in today's scenario. But these inventions are useless if they do not reach society. Entrepreneurship allows inventions to materialize. Entrepreneurship can also be taught and hence Entrepreneurs can also be created, but according to data available, the success rate of entrepreneurship ventures seem to be 1 in 2000. Is it really that bad? Why? There are a multitude of reasons where startups can and usually falter. But mostly so, because startups often work in relative isolation, 
free labs will help prevent startup mortality through collective learning and sharing of resources and expertise this gives rise to the third core idea of tree labs sharing benefits all this idea popularly known as commons is not uncommon today an example is the creative commons the commons is enriched by people sharing their creations so the vision of tree labs is to bring together the three core ideas inventions entrepreneurship and commons tree labs is an invention and entrepreneurship factory its inventions can spawn many daughter companies which will help move these inventions from the lab to the market as a minority equity partner in these companies the success of these companies will create a revenue stream that will enable tree labs to be a financially self fueling mechanism but tree labs is a section 25 company this means that all the revenue coming into tree labs whether by dividends from daughter companies royalty donations etc is utilized to create a network of laboratories fabrication workshops campuses and a culture for technical creativity the fruits of this tree has the potential to create a revolution and the seeds can be sown elsewhere causing ripples across the globe creating an international revolution in techno entrepreneurial creativity tree labs is already demonstrating the feasibility and the phenomenal potential of its vision but it is evident that the task of taking any core invention to the finish as a part of various possible product lines is enormous and will need support in various forms until it is possible to function independent of external support so tree labs extends its invitation to you to become part of this revolution today